Tabitha was a typical, you know, 16, 17 year old young girl, laughing, happy. I was a youth apprenticeship student um, with Jackson County High School and um, I started here as part of that. I remember the first day I met her, I thought, oh my gosh, here I go again, another high school student. On my first day on the job, Crystal walked into that room and she looked at me and she's like, who are you people and who do you know? <laughs> I never knew what kind of personality the new person would have or if they would fit in well, but Tabitha fit in very well with us. And everybody liked her and, um, you know, it became a very good working relationship and um, a very good friendship. Oh, I just loved her. Love her very much. She was, I was like, oh, she's good people. She's, she's gonna take care of me. And I clung to her a good bit. And I think that was God's timing and how our lives turned out. Like, I didn't know she had been through a lot of things and um, I didn't know I was going to go through a lot of things. So, um, you know, she had not quite been here for a year and her mother had was involved in a car accident and did not survive. Um, when Crystal found out my mother passed away, she left Jackson EMC that day and came to my house. Joe told her, go, go, take care of that kid. Go, do what you have to do. You know, at that time, Tabitha's father worked at the University of Georgia and he worked on a, in a position where he worked at night and I just felt like Tabitha did not to need to spend that much time at home alone. You know, I had two daughters of my own. I could not imagine my child being at home by herself that much. So I said, Tabitha, it's just time for you to come to my house. She said, so your daddy works nights. Um, I just want you to come home with me. Just come home and so I stayed at her house and hung out with her and her daughters and everything. Um, I didn't know that her husband had had a heart attack. I didn't know that she was going through a whole battle all on her own, um, but she wanted to take care of me. Jackson EMC tends to embrace people when they have tragedies in their family and help out anywhere they can. And for Tabitha's, it just was a, you know, a longer period of time because she had lost her mother at such a young age. My true sense of Jackson EMC has always been that this is part of my family. So when Sandy started, I was like, okay, there's this kid. I'm on. And I looked at her and it was so funny because I said this the first day to her because I said, you know, this is what you got to be told the first day you started a job. Who are you people and who do you know? Because I found out that's what you're supposed to do. Crystal taught me that. <laughs> Ever since the beginning of working here, Tabitha's been kind of a go-to leader for me and was always super um, wanting to know who I was. The first day I came in, she said, so who are your people? She's a kid and she's been such a good kid to work with and um, she graduated high school with us and um, everything. So it's been really great to have that different side of ha being the mama versus just the, uh, the daughter. Definitely transitioning into the real world from high school to have the help a lot because um, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I got my own house right when I moved out of high school, so that was a big step for me. And having Tabitha there to help me plan, help me with knowing budgeting. She helped me with college classes, deciding what to do and what not to do, and deciding how I can move forward for my future. She was very helpful. Crystal has been a huge impact on my life, um, taking meals to people, making sure that, you know, whatever that person needs, no matter what is going on in your life, is less important than how you can help somebody in their life. And so for Sandy, as I try to um, emulate some of that, is I want her to see that it doesn't matter how busy you are or how many things you have going on, sometimes you have to stop from whatever that is and pull back from that and help others. I could not imagine my life without Jackson EMC or my life without Crystal or Sandy. They are just so huge a part of my life. Yeah, Jackson EMC is definitely family. We are all one big happy family. <laughs> and um, uh, it's just super great to know that where you're working cares for you. 